What's up guys, quick update on Bitcoin. I think this is a pretty good time to do an update. Um, I have all these indicators up here. I think we should just start from the daily because I think that the daily gives the most amount of information right here. So, you know, I already have a lot of this stuff drawn up, but the first thing I could point out guys still is that this pat this range here just still looks like accumulation. Um, if you go look at medium time frames on the eight hour, we broke out of this downtrend right here, right? And now we are kind of wicking uh, this trend line that's turned into support and all these moving averages are kind of creeping up. Squeeze is getting tight on medium time frames, right? And then we also, if you look on the daily, I think the daily gives the most amount of information right now, guys. Um, so I already drove up these 618s, but I'll, re I'll redo it. So if you do this, high to look 618 here. And then this uh, high to low 618 here we kind of wick this area right here. So this is the next area to break. It's between 69K and 70K, right? But once we get above that area, then we are pretty much above all these 618s, right? So if you were to draw this point right here, that was a previous 618 that took a while to break above. We broke above it, then we retested it as support. Now these high to low 618s looks like the last area to kind of get above, right? And if you do it from that 618. So, you know, if you just look at these 618s, I think that's always the key in these types of patterns to kind of determine, um, you know, if the range is accumulation or uh, distribution, right? Um, and we are kind of back testing these order blocks as, as like a last defense. But like the volume of support is all pretty much built up here. Also, if you look at the, uh, the medium time frames, um, you know, we had this. Uh, break below these key moving averages now we're above right and so this you know this is turning into a bullish momentum so if we go on back on the daily and we turn on uh, the indicators one other thing we could note here is that the squeeze is getting pretty tight the blinger bands I know there's a lot of stuff um, similar to this point right here where we had a cross up right like that and then the bands got pretty tight and then we ran up right well we broke out of that top trend line as well right and we had that cross up like of this point right here is kind of similar to what it looks like right now right we broke out of that top trend line uh we now we're turning that as poor that high low to high 618 is retesting we just had another cross up on the daily squeeze is getting tight so you know the recipe there right now is there guys that you know we're gonna go up and break out of this range it's pretty much gearing up the volume is still the key guys the volume has been decreasing you know this move up it closes in like four hours the daily clan candle but you can see the uh, if you look at the volume at the bottom it's still like below the average of the previous so the volume hasn't you know it's slowly probably going to build up guys as we get back up to all this support but the volume isn't there yet at least today it's still on decreasing volume as you can see um we kind of want to see the, the the candles get above this average point right like that then that's how we confirm it. it's increasing as the price is going up so th this area right here is kind of the area we want to get above but to me this still looks like a bullish uh, schematic so if you re get, re get rid of the indicators right this still looks like a one two three four five and this is a b finish i'm still counting this as a one two this right here kind of want to omit it because it just shows up as a massive wick on like the weekly right so we're just kind of counting this as a one two from that point right there right where we think we're we're entering an uptrend um even three day looks kind of telling here right it broke out of that trend this kind of looks like an accumulation pattern on the three day so my opinion guys we're still uh, gearing up to go up the three day bands they still could get a little tighter right but i don't think it's like a necessity that the, that's what needs to happen but anyways, that's still my count for uh, Bitcoin. It looks bullish to me, guys. It's just turning into an accumulation pattern. We're just waiting for that volume to kind of creep up, right? I think that that's pretty much all we had for Bitcoin. I don't want to make these videos too long. I always do, but it's kind of hard. Liquidity levels are kind of interesting in which that we have still a lot of liquidity down to 63K. And, uh, you know, we still have a lot of liquidity up to like the 73K area, right? Um that we might uh, yin yang. It looks like we're just gonna go up from here, guys. I don't think we're going back down here. We could always come back later in the cycle to pick up that liquidity, which I think we'll do after this next run up to like maybe, you know, we could just say 100K from now on. This thing, it shows another angle of this, right? A lot of liquidity above, a lot of liquidity below, but it looks like we're just gonna go up from here um, as the volume comes, right? 
this is just another angle that's pretty much that um we could look at like bitcoin dominance um i don't i don't have that other like chart thing up let me see if i could actually pull that up on the other thing um as we wait for this but if we go look at some metrics real quick i always do this right we're kind of back testing that pink golden ratio multiplier but the purple golden ratio multiplier is kind of creeping up um you know the funding net funding is kind of at a medium point um the open interest is kind of kind of going up it's kind of just ranging sideways um and then the real volume and volatility are both pretty much bottomed out right volatility has just gone completely bottom so you know wherever whenever we break out of this range we actually get a ra range breakout it's just, it should correlate with the volume inverting and the volatility going up that's the most bullish case here we want the volatility and the volume to go up right not like this point right here where just the volatility kind of went up but we went up on low volume so I think that's about to come. This looks like a pretty telling, like inverse head and shoulders type pattern on the Bitcoin, right? So I think we just need to be a little bit more patient, right? I think the MACD is probably going to cross back up like that. Uh, if you look at uh, our side, we back tested all the support, literally went right straight to support, and now we're going back up. So this looks like a entering a bullish, you know, a bullish momentum here, right? That kind of looks like a pretty telling accumulation pattern on the RSI. This is raw RSI. We're probably going to enter a bull trend, right? It's kind of what makes the most amount of sense. The squeeze is most likely tight on, on the RSI as well, right? As we've been kind of ranging here. So that's pretty much that. Um, let's just open up Bitcoin dominance, right? And uh, let me just see if I could... We might as well just look at this thing right here as well. I'll put that on the side. You know, I didn't really look at this yet. Um, the spot ETF, I think we might as well just, you know, keep an eye on that thing, right? So if, let's change ang angles real quick and look at uh, uh, the spot uh, the spot ETF here, right? So you go look at the spot ETF. This thing has updated. It looks like this thing is kind of lagging, actually. It's still showing like 531. Um, let's try to re-put uh, re it up. This thing is this one right here. You guys look at this yourself, but if you're lazy, I'll just show it. Yeah, it's still on the 31st, but it still looks like this thing needs to update. It's kind of lagging, but it looks like, you know, the next move up since this this was the, the start of this, and now we're consolidating, is probably going to have one more push up on the spot ETF Bitcoin holding, right? Uh, it's it's kind of interesting that, you know, there are trends like this, even on this little thing, right? You can see this little downtrend like that that we finally broke out of. That correlated with that, uh, you know, that big move up that we had um, at, at this point right here. So anyways, let's go change our emotions now. Look at Bitcoin dominance. So maybe we could make this under 15 minutes, guys. So this was still my count here that I think we're looking for this finale here. I think that's kind of what we're going for is that we see a lower high like this. And... This does look like uh, kind of like this thing does have, uh, you know, maybe one more move down. At least on the two day, when I see some kind of pattern like this, you know, that looks like a wedge. So I start thinking it is going to do something like that, right? But I mean, there's just so much resistance up here that I think it's going to probably tag that and bend over so i still think we're looking for a little lower high on the bitcoin dominance before we ultimately break down right this is kind of how the weekly looks here um we did get a lower low on the bitcoin dominance so this little figure here remains to be seen if that's distribution i still think it is so i think we're going to do something like that guys so i think we're gearing up for this final leg up for bitcoin for that happens told three over bitcoin over and ethereum right now this still looks bottomed you know total three looks like it's about to run up here guys I, I you know that to me looks like like it's just gearing up to to go up guys like that that's kind of what i think so much support down right still everything's still similar to what i was saying in previous videos right like we broke out of this top trend line back testing it and these uh, supports this thing looks like it's about to run up Look at that, right? That looks like a ascending triangle after a trend line break. These are all accumulation tells. Um, daily looks pretty good on total three, right? Where we had a cross up here, broke out of the trend. 
Now we're retesting all the support. This, in my opinion, is probably a one two one two, or we could just say one two like that, right? Before we go up, everything still looks bullish to me, guys. I think we should keep an eye on like Doge over total, Sol over total, and like and ETH over total. Like just these market caps over total, so we can see what's rotating. I mean, ETH, Doge is still at like massive, massive support, right? Like this to me just looks so good, guys. Like these low to high 618s and we're pretty much back testing all this for we broke out of that trend line it's kind of like angling up like that it looks like an accumulation pattern even the price right now is on massive support so i think like honestly dogecoin is probably one of the safest assets at least in the crypto space that you could hold right now i know that sounds crazy because it's a meme coin and it's very volatile but like if you just look at all the support it's on right now in my opinion this is like one of the best places to park uh excess uh money you know not financial advice but that's what kind of the charts tell me right and this is a high market cap coin that survived uh multiple bear markets right these new coins we, we you know they're going to keep running up most likely but they haven't survived a real bear market they could go the same route as luna for example right so anyways we're back testing poc on the ETH total so i think that like you know like if you look at the, these two coins just like doge and uh doge and ETH total right like you can see doge is over total is at massive support right and on the price as well so if you go on two day i like to just look at the weekly and the two day guys i think that's the best way to just see the macro outlook on stuff all right so this right here you know this pattern right here you know this looks like it's about to run up you know i think this consolidation range that it's at right now is probably gonna end up breaking up right we broke out of this downtrend we're kind of doing this like a key, uh, range thing right now um where we are at massive support so that you know this thing has been ranging sideways for so long so it, it becomes more valuable to just look at something like the weekly time frame when we're just stuck in a low volatility range like this, right? But we are at massive support on two day. The two day is actually pretty tight though. The bands um, kind of equivalent to these two points, right? Uh, but I think we want to like zoom out and look at weekly, right? Which is like a massive support. Um, see anything else that we see, right? Even the two week kind of shows this, that uh, this area right here is kind of where we're back testing. It's just massive support like that. Um, that's kind of what I what I look at, guys. If, if some things that mass is poor, another thing has ran up, is that resistance? You know, that's kind of what I just look at, right? It's just scalping over and over again. I think that's the name of the game. You can just hold as well. It's fine. Um, also, I guess we could look at the volume on this, right? So the volume is... Uh, when you want to see a correction, or if you do think something is a correction... If this is like a 335 or whatever right the main thing that one of the key things on price action analysis is to make sure the volume is decreasing like that is right there right so that's enough of doge i just think doge looks the best out of one of the high market cap uh, uh meme coins right a lot of a good place to park uh, excess profits winnings for that finale 10x that's eventually going to come right with patience so, you know, ETH total is at a massive POC, but this does look like a double bottom. Been showing that. You know, I think it's probably going to do something like that, guys. Might take a while to consolidate here, though. You know, soul over total is kind of interesting. Like, this right here, I don't think is a fifth wave, because that is not extended fifth. So, I still think we're looking for this fifth. So, I would say, like, you know, we're looking for something like that for soul, which is kind of interesting. Um... So to me personally, I do think Seoul has one more run up, like Seoul over total, right? So if this right here was some kind of uh, three three five, which is most likely the case, I think, like three three five like that, then I think this is most likely a one two guys, and Seoul has one more run up. Um, you know, extended of this one wave that could go up to like the. You know, if you do the extension, we got to kind of count it on low time frames, right? At least to the one-to-one -one kind of gives it the right look, I think. Um, so if you draw it like this, like that, right? You'd probably be looking for something like this for this final leg up, I think is 
kind of correct, right? This is sold over total, like so. I, I do think Sol is going to run compared to the rest of the crypto market, right? Uh, this thing is pretty much just Bitcoin on steroids, guys. Like it's, it's a more volatile re version of uh, Bitcoin, right? So you know, this wedge looks like it is going to break out of this wedge, and this is on the weekly. So I think Sol is gearing up for one more big move up, guys. Let's go look at it real quick on the two day. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I would say that this is most likely a 1-2 like this, and this has another run-up. So, that's my read on Seoul. Pepe over total does look like it is consolidating, so maybe this thing has one more run-up. I'm not sure about Pepe right now. It's just hard to read, guys. It's probably just going to keep going up, guys, until Bitcoin dominance, you know, goes down. This does look like it has one more leg up, so probably has one more leg up. Pepe. Um, Shiba over total, the last thing, you know, that's most likely going to break up like that, right? So this looks, Shiba over, Shiba looks pretty good as well, right, guys? Um, volume has been decreasing like that, and the volume is picking up here, so I think that has one more run up. That's pretty much it, guys. Uh, just a quick update. I, I do think Bitcoin is uh, gearing up for... Uh, a leg up guys slowly it's going to get there that volume is going to come this looks like a bullish schematic still so just a quick update on my thoughts guys thank you uh for watching i'm not sure when the next video update will be probably like uh, a few days couple days when it feels right right we're getting another cross up as well and we did break back above that trend line right so we are entering a bullish momentum guys squeeze getting tight okay guys uh thank you for watching